Hey guys, Tayra here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, we are going to be playing with the new Juvia's Place Nude Lip Collection. If you did not know, Juvia's Place recently came out with nude lipstick, lip glosses, and lip liners. So if you are interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video. And follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so I did film this video already, but when I was editing, it just did not look right. So I was like, you know, rather than waste time and try to fix that, I decided to like refilm the entire video. So that's what I'm doing. I did pick up three of the lipsticks, two of the glosses, and a lip liner. Let's start with the lip liner. I got the shade Cola. This is like the brown lip liner. I'm hoping that it looks like similar to my BFF4 lip liner. As I said, I did swatch this before, but I am going to swatch it for you guys. And I'm going to also swatch my ColourPop BFF4 and show you like what they look like side by side. So this is what Cola looks like nice and rich so i did swatch both the ColourPop and my nyx espresso liner because like that's my go-to those two are like my go-to nude lip liners and this one right here is the juvia space the middle one is ColourPop, and the one beside the ColourPop is the nyx espresso i hope you guys can see what i'm seeing but the ColourPop one has that redness that i really really like the Juvia's Place one does not have that, but it is just as creamy as the ColourPop one. And I think it can work. Like, I really, really like how the formula feels. Like, I really, really like it. Yeah, so if you're looking for like a good ColourPop replacement, the Juvia's Place one is a must. All right, so for the lipsticks, they have three different categories. They have peachy nudes, mauve nudes, and chocolate nudes. Before we jump into like swatching the lipsticks, y'all, let's just take a moment for this packaging right here. Like, I don't know how Juvia's Face is this cheap with this fire packaging. Like, the lipsticks are $14. The lip liner, yeah, the lip liner is $10 and the lip glosses are $13. Like, that price for this kind of packaging, it's next to none. I've seen so much high-end brands with $30 lipsticks and the packaging ain't this fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first shade that I have is the shade hashtag 2020 and this is from the mauve nudes category so this is what 2020 looks like and this is what 2020 looks like swatched So this is what this one looks like with no lip liner on. First of all, this is not a matte lipstick. It's not drying at all. It is really, really creamy. It's more of like a soft matte, like a really, really comfortable matte. All of these shades that I bought, I have to wear a lip liner with them, but I just wanted to show you guys like what it looks like without a lip liner. And then I'll go in with my lip liner and show you like how I would wear it. But this shade right here is like super pinky. It's not really me. <laughs> but I'm not mad at it. Yeah, so that's 2020. All right, y'all, so this is what 2020 looks like with a lip liner. If I'm being honest, 2020 is like not my kind of nude lip. If I am wearing something like this pink or this mauve, I have to, have to, have to, have to use like a pinky gloss. So this is kind of not my vibe, but you know i'll probably put some gloss on top maybe like a clear gloss or something but i i'm going to test it with their gloss and show you guys like what it looks like but so far like this one is like my least favorite but the formula the way this lip liner applies like it's unmatched i really really like it all right y'all so the next shade that i have is from the chocolate nudes category and this one is in the shade muted this is what it looks like not sure if this is showing up but this is what makes it look like swatched like look at that perfection this one i feel like i'm really really going to like i know that looking at it it's going to look like crazy on the lips without a lip liner but like i feel like once i apply lip liner with this well i know because i've tried it before once i apply lip liner with this this lipstick right here is it's gonna be a whole vibe All 
sorry y'all so this is what music looks like with no lip liner at all i know it looks crazy but trust me once you apply lip liner like it's done it's over like this right here is the perfect nude lipstick all right you guys so this is what muted looks like with the lip liner on like y'all this right here is my kind of nude like this is it right here i would apply my artist couture uncensored gloss on top of this and it's a whole lip combo like this right it's a vibe i love this lip combo this one right here is my favorite i think <laughs> So the next lipstick I have is from the Peachy Nude category and this is the shade Mademoiselle. This one right here, ooh, this looks so good. So this is what Mademoiselle looks like swatched. I don't think it's showing on camera but I can definitely see the peachy undertones in this one and this one is kind of like my kind of nude as well i really 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 like this one the good thing about these lipsticks i don't think i own anything like that looks like these i have a lot of nude lipsticks and i'm not seeing like i could say oh this is a dupe for that or a dupe for that i'm not seeing anything but yeah this is like right up my alley Ooh. this one is my favorite i changed my mind muted is not my favorite this one is my favorite I don't remember this one being this light. I really like this. I like my nude lipsticks to be super, super light or super, super dark. So that way, when I apply the gloss on top of it, you know, it gives a whole vibe. <laughs> so this one definitely looks a little bit crazy. But once again, when that lip liner hits, it's going to be different. Like, this is what it looks like. Without lip liner, I'm going to apply some lip liner to this and I'll be right back. I know y'all see the vision. This right here, this is it. Like, Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0. This is, well, hopefully, hopefully, one of these lip glosses, like, takes this lip combo right here to the next level. But y'all, this is honestly my favorite. Like, the formula, I can't say enough. The formula is amazing. This is what this one looks like with lip liner. All right, y'all, so for the glosses, I picked up two shades. I got the shade Barely There and the shade Sis. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say that I am a little bit disappointed with the shade Sis. Looking at it, the pictures on Instagram, it looked more like, you know, the Fenty Beauty hot chocolate gloss. It looks like that minus the glitter. But now that I have it in front of me, it don't look like that at all. It just looks like a nice creamy pink nude lip gloss and i'm not mad at it but i just expected something a little bit more brown but blame it on instagram um for this one right here i am going to be using the shade barely there but i'm going to swatch it for you guys first this is what barely there looks like i am in love i really really like this if i'm being honest it doesn't it's not like the same undertone as the artist couture one but i feel like this is going to be my new favorite gloss like if you know how much i love my artist couture gloss for me to say that this is going to be my next favorite then believe it i'm going to before i remove this lip combo i'm going to use this one barely there on top of this because i just feel like it's going to be a lip combo Mm. Y'all, I'm so happy that I did this video over because I did not pair this lip combo together. And y'all, look at that. Isn't this me? This is me. This is my new favorite gloss because the formula. All right, y'all, I am going to do another lip combo with the next gloss. I am going to line with the Cola Lip Pencil. So for the lipstick, I am going to use the shade 2020 because I just feel like 2020 with the gloss in the shade Sis would look fire. So that is what I am going to do. This is what the gloss looks like in the shade 
sis i feel like this is a gloss version to the lipstick 2020 so i feel like it would be like a fire lip combo yeah definitely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you remember when i said i wouldn't wear this lipstick if it wasn't glossy this is what i meant look at this right here this right here this is another lip combo i am living for this entire collection y'all yeah so this is 2020 the gloss sis and once again the brown lip liner in the shade cola and it's a whole moment y'all i like it let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below all right you guys so final thoughts on this collection i went back in with the lip liner the mademoiselle lipstick and the barely there gloss y'all this is going to be my new favorite lip combo this gloss right here is everything this is my new favorite gloss um the only thing i have to say is that the gloss does transfer on your teeth really really easily but other than that this collection right here is fire it's not goopy it's not sticky or anything like that like the price is right, the formula is amazing, and the packaging is fire. You can't ask for anything else. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. But Julia's face, you did that. And I'm super impressed. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so that is everything I have to share with you guys today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Once again, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, y'all. We are on our way to 1K. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.